Hello everyone, my name is Andy, I'm the creator of Event Horizon Gaming and boy we have some news to talk about. Well, if you've checked the game today, uh, you've probably seen that we have a Silas and Vierna skin preview. Uh, Watcher of Rams official YouTube channel has posted a video for, uh, for us to check out. I'm gonna probably play it out for you in the background so you can see it here uh, first hand. Uh, but I'm also going to put a video a link in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself. And uh, what's pretty cool about this is the fact that actually the Silas skin is going to be free. Um, most specifically a shard summon. So that means that you can farm events, um, gather the shards for the skin. And then at the end, exactly like you would do a uh, hero. Um, you can actually have the Silas skin for free. Now, <laughs> this might be a little bit of an issue because yes, it is a free skin, but also not everyone has Silas, so raise your hand if you have skins the, of heroes that you don't actually have, so <laughs> that would be also me. Um, but um, but this is actually pretty cool, it's pretty nice of Munton to actually give us a free skin. The um, Verna skin will actually be an in-game purchasable item in the shop so this one is not going to be free but uh, i'll have the um, the shard summoning event um, layout for you on the screen i have a screenshot of it so you can check that out and maybe prepare ahead of time if you feel like it but also as you have uh, probably seen in the title that means something else they also have placed the um, banner for this weekend. This uh, weekend is going to be Salazar and Keneza. So that means that Lust won't be present in this weekend and most probably Lust banner is going to be available for us on the 16th. So yeah, that means a little bit, uh, a little bit more time for us to save and probably get more, more uh, mention summoning crystals. But uh, that begs the question, you know many of us speculated that uh, they might put all three Bond hero summons uh, on the 16th. They, we speculated that we're gonna have Kineza and Salazar alongside Silas and, um, and uh, Vierna and alongside Last and Arrogance. But now we see that this week is actually Salazar and Kineza. As we know from the past uh, guaranteed summoning events, uh, they've always been, they've also been present alongside uh, other pretty interesting banners. So what I'm actually a bit worried about uh, is that they are going to place on the 16th both the the last banner and a Silas and Vierna banner, 10x. Why would that be bad? Because we, that means that, uh, especially if you don't have Vierna or Silas, that would mean that you'll have to split up resources or, or have a very important decision to make. For example, I have uh, Vierna, but uh, I don't have Silas. For me, Silas would be a game changer for this account. But also, I've prepared myself for uh, for Lust and for um, and for Arrogance because I don't have either. I don't have them either. So. Hopefully, with the amount of resources I have, if that's going to be the case, I'll be able to pull both of them. Uh, I mean, all three of them. But um, we don't know that for sure. We don't know if that's actually going to happen. But what we know is that we actually the game has um, in its code the banner for Silas and Vierna already. So they've introduced the last banner, I think, in the code. The Silas and Verna banner and uh, Salazar and uh, Kineza banner. We've seen that a few days ago and now they've placed, uh, they've announced actually the Salazar banner. So I'm gonna have a video in which I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about if it's worth pulling for the, for the um, Salazar banner. Um, all in all, I don't, I don't think so. But um, yeah. Um, some uh, some more videos are about to come. If um, you have any more 
questions regards to to this about in regards to the last banner in regards to the silent skin let me know and uh, see you pretty soon in the next video this has been andy event horizon gaming bye bye